Here's how I use the law of attraction to manifest a Lamborghini. So I've always wanted to have a Lamborghini since I was a kid. I used to have this poster in my bedroom that was a Lamborghini Diablo. It's been my dream car forever. And I knew that one day I wanted to get one, but I had no idea how I was gonna make it happen. Now, before I tell you how I use the law of attraction to get the Lamborghini, I'm gonna tell you what you're doing wrong. You view the law of attraction as something that you can just manifest by yourself in your home, in your basement. And so you set this vision for yourself of having your dream car, having your dream house, and then you sit on your ass and you do absolutely nothing to manifest. The law of attraction will not work unless you are putting in the work towards the thing that you want. And so you set the intention and you set the target and you set the goal of where you'd like to go and then you put in the work to make it happen. So this is my story on how I use the law of attraction to manifest a Lamborghini. It all started back when I was recovering from my addiction. In 2013, when I was an addict and I had to recover, one of the things that I did that helped me get clean and sober was I created a vision for my life. And the reason I had to have a vision is because my life was so shitty at that time and it was so hard for me to get out of bed that I needed something that was gonna give me a sense of hope. I needed something that was gonna give me a sense of purpose, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that getting out of bed was gonna be worth it. And so I had this vision of this life that I wanted to create. And one of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to have a Lamborghini. And so step number one is you need to set the intention. I set the intention that I was going to own the Lamborghini and I didn't know when I was gonna make it happen, but all I knew is I set that intention and I put it out in the universe. Step number two is to put yourself in the vision. And so back when I had a successful online fitness business and we were doing 10 to 20K a month, this was well before I could afford a Lamborghini. Me and one of my friends would go to the Lamborghini dealership just to look at the cars. And we would do this every two or three months or so. The reason we would go to these Lamborghini dealerships is I wanted to put myself in the place of owning a Lamborghini. So I would go there as if I was shopping for my car. I actually went to a dealership in Calgary and I took a picture next to a blue Lambo. Uh, it was a blue Lamborghini Huracan. And I got my buddy to take a photo and I put that as my phone background. And that was my phone background for three years. So step number two is you need to put yourself in the place of having the thing. If you can get around the thing that you want, if you can visualize yourself shopping for the thing that you want, that's super important. Step number three is to take a swing. And so, I wanted a Lambo and so when I started making $100,000 a month, that was the first time I ever applied for a Lamborghini because in my head I was like, well I'm making 100K a month now so I can definitely afford a Lamborghini. I remember going into the car dealership and applying for Lambo financing and I got denied. And when I asked why I got denied, I was like, why did I get denied? I'm making $100,000 in my business. They're like, yeah, your business is making $100,000, but you on paper are not making that much. And so even though my business was highly successful, on paper, I wasn't taking home a lot of money because I wanted to avoid taxes. And so I couldn't afford the Lambo. I remember how heartbreaking it was going into the Lamborghini dealership and then walking out without my car because my credit and my financial situation wasn't where I wanted to be. In fact, it was a big hit to the ego. But step number three is to take the swing. When you know exactly what you want, you need to go after what you want. And the reason that a lot of people don't do that is because they are afraid of failing in the attempt. Because failing sucks. Like getting denied Lambo financing was like, it was an ego hit to be completely transparent. It sucked. But step number four is to hold the faith. Because when you're taking the swing and you're going after that thing that you want, you're gonna fail multiple times. But can you keep the faith that it's still going to happen even when you are failing? And I went for Lambo financing once, I got denied. I ended up getting a Dodge Challenger to start. Went for Lambo financing twice, got denied. The second time they denied me, but they gave me more financing, so I got my Hellcat. Went for Lambo financing the third time, and this was actually funny because I drove out to Vancouver with Nick and went out to buy my Lambo. And at this time I knew I could afford it. Like I had just had a million dollar a month. I was like, this is like, this is when I'm gonna fucking do it. And at third time I went out to Lamborghini, they were closed. Your website does not say that. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Update your fucking website. Are you joking me? You drove four hours. And so step number four is you need to hold the faith that it's going to actually happen. You need to actually just like, no matter what, you need to believe with absolute certainty that it's going to happen and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Step number five, experience the thing. 
There was a period in time, this was a couple months before I actually purchased a Lamborghini, where I went to Vancouver and I rented a Lamborghini Aventador. There was like a exotic car rental, you could just go online and rent an exotic cars. And it cost me three grand per day, I rented it for two days. Now obviously $6,000 for two days of a Lamborghini rental is obnoxious, but the lesson that I got from la renting a Lamborghini was absolutely worth it. And the lesson is you, you need to like experience you doing the thing. Like for law of attraction to really take place and to take hold, your mind needs to actually see yourself in possession of the thing. And so when I was driving around that Lamborghini that I rented, I was just imagining. I was just imagining it happening. I was imagining it like me driving my own Lamborghini, that this was my car, that it was my dream, that I was doing the thing. And that feeling, that desire of wanting it so fucking bad and then experiencing the thing that I wanted so bad allowed me to just like become more of a magnet to opportunities that would get me close to it, allowed me to become more of a magnet to like the actual car that I was gonna buy. You need to experience yourself wanting the thing, experiencing yourself doing the thing so that you get one step closer to manifestation. Now step number six is beautiful because step number six of manifestation comes after all the hard work, after the consistency, after the grinding, after holding the faith, after taking the swing, after experiencing the thing. Step number six is to take your claim. The thing that you say that you want, it's so fucking bad, whether that be a house, a car, a partner. The sixth step to manifestation, the sixth step to using law of attraction to your advantage is to claim your thing, claim your place, claim what is rightfully yours. Step number six was to go and take possession of the Lamborghini. And I remember driving out to Vancouver, knowing that I was gonna be driving a Lamborghini back after 10 years of working towards wanting it so fucking bad. The feeling that I had driving that car back from Vancouver to Kelowna was a feeling that I will literally never, ever, ever, ever forget. So step number six is once you actually use the law of attraction and you're focusing on it and you're consistent and you're holding the vision and you're keeping the faith, Step number six is you claim your fucking thing. You claim the thing that you said that you wanted and you take possession of what it is that you want. And that's the most beautiful thing. To be able to look back and think that me wanting a Lamborghini was something that I've always wanted as a kid. I set the vision and I set the intention over 11 years ago to get a Lamborghini. I tried multiple times and I failed, but despite trying and failing, I kept myself in the game. I kept myself focused. I kept myself aiming towards that thing that I wanted and to be able to look now at the car that I'm driving and realize that I manifested it is the most beautiful thing. And so law of attraction isn't some hippie law that you can just sit in your basement and hope that it becomes reality. The law of attraction is very real, but you need to be putting in the fucking work in order to make it happen. So the law of attraction gives you a destination to shoot for, a target to aim for, something to reach for, an ideal to strive towards, and then your work ethic is what's gonna make that dream become a reality. So hopefully this video inspired you to start using the law of attraction for your own life. It's not a magic pill, but it does work. So set the intention and set the vision of what you'd like to create and use these six steps to manifest anything that you could ever want.